Welcome to The Compressor Guru. It is a few days before Christmas 2020, the year that will never end. Uh, we have Precious and Gizmo meowing in the background. You met them in recent videos. Um, business tip number five. If you're a salesman, you need to listen to your customer. Folks, we've all gone to that car salesman, that motorcycle salesman, the phone salesman, and you know what you want when you walk in the door? You start telling them, they go, well, I'll give you an example. There's a Harley dealer uh, that's, they've changed hands now. The new, de the new owners are very responsive to the, uh, the customer needs. But the old, the old owner walked in in 2005 to buy a new electric light and I uh, told the guy I says uh, I, I'm looking for a blue electric light I would really like the blue and silver if you have one and his response to me was we have a black one I'll sell that to you salesmen need to listen I says no I and I says I'm looking for a blue one I like blue and uh, he says, ah, uh, six months after you have it, you won't care what color it is. You know, I've been on Harleys for 15 years now. I still care what color my Harley is. Uh, I, you notice I'm in a Hawaiian flowery shirt. All it takes to sell me a Hawaiian flowery shirt is to have it on the shelf in my size. I like these shirts. Uh, they're comfortable, they're loud. I'm not really a loud person. It doesn't take anything for a salesman to sell me a shirt like this. All they have to do is have it on the shelf in my size and I'll buy it. Well, unless it's outrageously priced. And when I have to use Omar the tent maker for my clothes, I have to pay extra for the yardage. Uh, anyway, the... Uh, because I'm wearing a Hawaiian flowery shirt, let's say I go to a, a travel agent and I walk in and say, I want to go to Hawaii for Christmas. And they go, oh, we can get you to Orlando, Florida for a third of the price. Once again, they're not listening. You know, they're selling what they have instead of listening and, and being responsive to the customer. And next week's video, we actually go over some of the stuff I deal with to sell compressors. And it's not really what I go through to sell you the compressor. It's things you should know and have in your mind before you come in and uh, go looking for a compressor, whether it's from me or a big box store or whoever. So I listen to what the customer wants. I will ask them questions. Uh, concerning uh, power and how much CFM he needs, how much pressure he needs. And then I will try to match what he wants to what best suits his needs. And I listen to the customer. This is really a simple and fairly short lesson. Don't be that guy that goes, well, I got 500 guitars to get rid of. And somebody walks in and says, I want to learn to play a fiddle. I need to buy a fiddle. That's a violin for people not in Appalachia. Uh, <laughs> so, well, you know, guitars are more popular than fiddles. I, I can sell you a guitar for, no, don't be that guy. Listen to your customer. Be as responsive to them as you can. In the uh, 700 Widgets episode, we talked about find suppliers that can take care of needs for your customers and you can go about it that way. You can find a fiddle, you can find a violin, whatever you want to call it. But you got to listen to your customer. Don't be that salesman. No. Yeah, how, how often have you walked out of a dealership, at a, a car dealership, one, you know, you go in, you want to buy, uh, you know, uh, a Malibu. I don't even know if they sell Malibus now. You go in, you want to buy a Malibu, and they're trying to sell you uh, a Trailblazer. Uh, it, it, you know, they're non-responsive. And that's one great way to lose 
uh, a customer. So salesmen out there, listen to your customer, try to respond to what they want and need. Now, I'm not saying, you know, totally ignore your inventory, but there's you gotta you gotta work this out. That's uh, that's the tip for today. Um, I don't even need to mention the cats. They weren't in the shot. They weren't meowing. They weren't doing anything today. So, on behalf of uh, me and Val and Precious and Gizmo, Merry Christmas. Uh, like and subscribe. Uh, hit that uh, bell for notifications on future episodes. And God bless.